Hi guys, it's Misha Books and Caps, and for today's video, I'm going to talk about my first of the year TBR. Now, this is my first TBR on this channel, and I've decided that throughout the year of 2018, I will have more TBRs to come. Now, these are just books that I want to read from now until April. These were the books that I did not get to last year. So I decided instead of bringing them back to the library, I will read them this year because I don't want to see these beautiful books go. Now most of these books, I don't know what they're about. So this is going to be sort of like a little flash TBR. I'm just going to show the book, maybe give a little sentence on why I want to read it, why I have it, and if I do have an idea of what it's about, I will mention that. The first two books are One Evil Summer and Sunburn by R.L. Stein. Now these were books, just fast reads, that I wanted to get to in 2017 but did not. I decided that I'm still gonna go into 2018 reading these. These are probably going to be the last R.L. Stein books I read. I just kind of overdid it last year and I'm kind of R.L. Steined out and so no more Fear Street or Goosebump books for a while. The next book I have is Gwendy's Button Box by Stephen King and Richard Shazmar. I have no idea what this book is about. It does look creepy. It kind of sounds creepy, but I've seen it around and I think I I read somewhere that it was pretty good. So um, it's a short story. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And I believe it's horror genre. I mean, it is by Stephen King. So I do want to read more by Stephen King. And so I figured to just pick this up. The next book I have is released by Patrick Ness. I read my first Patrick Ness book last year, which was A Monster Calls. And I seen this floating around on booktube and I, when I saw it at the library, I had one of those moments where I was like, well, I recognize that book, I've seen it on booktube. So I know that this book is pretty new and I decided to just go ahead and pick it up. Honestly, I have no real interest in reading this. But because I seen it at the library and I was familiar with it and how popular it was, I decided to pick it up. It deals with a male character who is gay and I think there is a paranormal aspect to the book. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think there's like a sort of underlying ghost story that's in it, but um, I haven't seen many reviews about it or I don't, I'm not sure what the rating is for it or how good it is but hopefully I at least enjoy it. The next book I have is We the Animals by Justin Torres. Now this book deals with three brothers and their childhood and that's as far as I know. I put this on my TBR a couple of years ago but I decided to pick it up last year to read because once again it is a pretty short story. The next book I have is Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. Now this book is pretty popular and I believe it's a, either a duology or a trilogy, I'm not sure. And I should probably save this for one of my other TBRs I plan on doing in the summer, but I have it now so I decided I'm going to read it now. The whole premise of it sounds very interesting. I believe it's about three sisters who are fighting for the throne and I believe it has to do with fantasy. I don't read a lot of YA fantasy and I kind of want to jump into that genre and see how I will do with it and see how well I will like it. I've seen it all over booktube and it's pretty chunky and I was kind of crazy for thinking that I would get to it last year but I definitely have the time to read it this year. The next book I have is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. But once again, I'm not too sure what this book is about. I think it deals with a young woman and her grandmother. I think there's a family aspect to this book, but I've seen it around booktube and I know how popular it is. And I heard that it was really good, so I'm hoping that I will find it as good as well. And it is 
pretty darn short so once again this is the reason why I picked it up last year to read the next book I have and the one I'm probably gonna start today is actors anonymous by James Franco I have no idea what this book is about but all I know is that it's by James Franco and this is my first book to read by him and I'm very curious as to how it's going to play out the next book I have is horror store by Grady Hendrix the story is about a couple of employees who get trapped inside of a furniture store. It's like a haunted house story. Like, I'm sorry, that's as far as I know. Um, It does sound really good, and it does seem like it would be a fast-paced book. I'm hoping I'm not wrong. The next book I have is A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. This is my first Virginia Woolf book. Once again, I'm not too sure what this book is about, but I do know that it's a classic, and it is Pretty popular it is also a pretty small book so once again this was something I want to get to last year but did not the next book I have is the ballad of black Tom by Victor Laval Laval I'm not sure what this book is about but I do know it is supposed to be scary and I think it's a classic I'm not sure but when I seen this at the library, it did look a little interesting and it was the right length that I was looking for in a book at the time. And then I eventually saw it either on Goodreads or Booktube that it was pretty good. So the next time I went back to the library, I decided to pick it up and I think I did start reading like the first page, but then I just put it down because I don't think I was ready for it. But I will be getting to this in the next coming of weeks. The next book I have is The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. This is a classic horror story that I don't know much about. But I do know, once again, that it is pretty short. So this is a pretty well-to-do TBR. Most of these books I can finish in a good amount of time way before April hits I'm sure I do apologize if I'm coming off a little bit vague on the synopsis of these books but I have so much here that I don't want this to be a long video I'm getting tired of making 20 minute length videos on my channel the next book I have is stay with me by Aobami Adebayo Adebayo I'm don't know how to pronounce that I'm sorry and um, I don't know too much what this book is about. I believe this book deals with a woman and her husband and their marriage. And after years into their marriage, they have a hard time um, having a baby. And I originally saw this book at the library and I was considering it, but then I saw the length of it and I was just like, I'm not gonna finish it in time. Um, I'm currently reading too much. I currently already have a bunch of books out But then once again, I went on booktube and I saw a couple of booktubers raving about it and how good it was And so the next time I went to the library, I picked it up. I did not get to it last year so here is a new year and I have plenty of time to finally get around to it and I'm sure I will greatly appreciate it. And the last book I'm going to talk about is German for Beginners. Now I started reading this book last year. I picked it up at work. It is a pretty short book and I figured that I would finish it last year but I started reading it and I did not finish it so um, I guess I'll just include it in this TBR because I do plan on getting through it a little fact about me I love accents pretty much any type of accent that isn't American accent because our accent is so boring and German is one of my favorite ones and so Pretty much when I'm done reading this book, I'll probably forget it all, but I'm having a lot of fun trying to teach myself a new language. I can't tell you much. The only word that I know in German is Guten Tag, which is good day. Guten Morgen is Guten Morgen is good morning. But yeah, that's all I can remember is Guten Tag and Guten Morgen. And I'm probably butchering that accent, but 
Um, yeah, I'm having fun with this. I pretty much just like the German accent and language. And that is it for this TBR. If you want to keep up and know what I'm saying or thinking about any of these books, please follow me on Twitter and add my Goodreads. They are always down below in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment if you have read any of these books and what you think about them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.